the classroom, we're going to be uh, working on the Pythagorean theorem. I know that sounds like some word from Star Trek or something, but I've told the children the hardest part about working with this is spelling the word. So I took care of that in advance, the Pythagorean theorem. And all it is is a way that we use to find the length of the sides of a right triangle. So, for instance, the formula that we use goes like this. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, before we get too overwhelmed, let me just draw a triangle here for you. According to this, we call these legs. This one is leg and leg. Uh, and we label them A and B. This one right here is always called a C and it's called a hypotenuse. Right? For this week, we're only going to learn how to figure out the hypotenuse by using the, the two legs. So um, it doesn't matter if this is A or this is B or this is A or this is B. You'll see why in a minute. But these are both the legs. So for the moment, let's just call this one A and B. As you can see from this, all we would need is if we have numbers, values for here, we would take them and we would plug them in here and then we would solve this. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, if this is an 8 and say this is a 6, those of you that know this already know this one's going to work out. Um, we would take the 6 and put it here, 6 squared, plus 8 squared equals whatever C is when it's squared. Now to solve it, we say 6 times 6 is 36, 8 times 8 is 64, and that's going to equal 100. Then what we do is we find out the square root of 100, so we have to find out C was squared to equal this. So we have to find out, you know, if this is 100, what was squared to equal this. So in this case, it comes out 10, so we know that this side equals 10. Alright? So let's do another one just, you know, to stay with this and, and give you a little bit more practice, because I hate to say it, but that's all there is to it. I always start by writing down the a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And for some of you that went to school about the time that I went to school, they used to say c squared equals a squared plus b squared. I think since then they've realized that kids can remember better if you just say the ABCs. And it really comes out the same anyway. We have a triangle now in this case, and this side is going to be 9, this side is going to be 12. We take the values and we put them into this a squared, b squared, c squared thing. And let me move over really quick. <clears throat> like this, 9, 12. I want to put 9 here, 9 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. Then we say 9 times itself equals 81, and 12 times itself is 144, and we know that that equals 225. Now all we have to do is find out the square root of 225, some number that was multiplied times itself to equal 225. For most of you, you know that that's 15. That means that this side is 15. All right? I know that I've also taught your children that some people call these 2, 3, I don't know, 3, 4, 5 triangles. This just means basically that the proportion would be something like 3, 4, and 5, like this. And if we were going to multiply these, let's say we were going to double that, then this would be, you know, 6, 8, 10. If we were going to say 4 times that, it would be 12, 16, 20. All right? Unfortunately, in some cases, they, the numbers don't work out. You don't get a perfect square as an answer. So we'll go on to well, what happens when that takes place. Take, for instance, one like this, where we have this leg was 4, this leg was 6. And we went ahead and we plugged it all in. 4 squared, 6 squared equals c squared, 16 plus 36. 4 times 4 is 16. 6 times 6 is 36 equals 52. The problem is there's no perfect square there. So what I've taught the children to do in this case is if you have 52, we're going to approximate. I mean, they're not using calculators for this. They're going to approximate. So we have 52. 52 is between 49, which is 7 times 7, and 64, which is 8 times 8. So 52 is somewhere between 7 and 8, all right? And they can kind of ballpark that just by saying, well, from 49 to 52, you have, you know, three digits, you know, 49, 50, 51, 52. 52 to 64 is 12 digits, all right? I can safely say in this case that this is about 7.25 or 7 and a quarter. Now, 
if we wanted to find out exactly what you would do is you'd say 52 using a calculator. You'd hit the little square root symbol and you'd find out 7.21. You know, I think that's a pretty good estimation. Um, of course, in this case, I have them make the symbol like this before 7.25 to show that it's not exact, but it, it's approximately. And that's about all we're going to work on all week. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me. Thank you.